It is a peaceful day today, and it has been for a while. The colony of Alturas is enjoying an unprecedented amount of peace and quiet now after a period of stress and horror where the colonists have been fighting for their lives on a daily basis. So for now, we are really enjoying just being able to relax, to relax, have fun, and get stuff done. Honestly, what we really would need right now is to increase our uh, is to actually increase our capacity for colonists to get a uh, production room up and running. So since we do have the wood enough to actually build a production facility, let's uh, go ahead and build it over here. It's gonna be a uh, small little facility. You're just gonna throw a door in that. That if it's that's it. Put a door in and get that sorted. Okay. All fully disappointed. Well, you know what? You can just go, go away. Who cares anyway? Trudy's almost finished with her research. Nice, that's nice, Trudy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And you went to bed. <laughs> okay, well, fair enough, fair enough. We're having a lovely time now, and I, I really enjoy uh, what we have going. I will say that for now. Um, let's just keep that going. Keep building. I don't really want to use more uh, more components. We're down to sixteen. Deconstruct this up here. Yeah, let's actually do that. Yeah, make that your priority. Get a few. Yeah, there we go. Components. Uh, we definitely need that. Those extra components there is they are going to be a lifesaver in the long run. What are you carrying, Diver? 16 components. Damn, son. 41. Okay, well, that means we can definitely put a heater in here. Also means we can deconstruct that one and make a proper one. So at this point in time, we definitely need an electronic tailoring bench. We also definitely need a uh, machining table. Components be damned. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Transmitting is now finished. That means we can start on microelectronics. 
Unless there's anything else I really think we need. That would most likely be drop production. We do need to get started on that so we can start making... Uh, Making some stuff. Making some medicines. Ah, let's do microelectronics. Sterile materials will definitely help. Honestly, they really would. Oh, and we need to hold urgently. Uh, beta talks. What really? We are out of storage space. Is rotten. Alright, well then we want the... cabinet in the middle i know it costs a lot of uh steel but damn it if it's not worth it in the long run we actually do have a decent chunk of steel and we can make get some more go power has been uh, added to our construction room have a look if there's anything here we can hunt again won't uh won't fight back just a rat guaranteed one not really not really inter interested in that at the moment now that now means we can make a pump action shotgun which we need steel and components for which is not something we are uh, molotovs Chem fuel, we don't have that. Back grenades, chem fuel. Yeah, I'm not really fond of using the. Uh... Two more parkers. And we need four of these. Is there any benefit to using the electric or the fuel still? No, not really. 16 year old firekeeper named Escorial is calling from me. And his exocar for mounting plus mites hunting her. Firekeep. I don't know. We could use extra hands in the colony. I don't know what frost bites are. I'm actually just going to go look that up. Two seconds.
Large parasite, fetal corpses. Okay, well, four of them. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. We'll, uh... Oh, the offer expired. Okay, well, fair enough. Right. Go away. Could have used a colonist. Could have probably handled it. Let's give you... What are you running around to? Carrying. You, uh... Actually, uh... Yeah. I need to mine. This cleared up so I can build here, please. I need to steal because we just used a uh, metric bunch of it on this. Uh, okay. Not really something... There hasn't been anything awesome so far. I should find in the storage room a little bit. That that's um be nice. Oh, something we can definitely live with and uh, have done. Also need a stone cutter's table, honestly. some wooden stools people who are working honestly and let's uh simply install that there of course Down a couple of stools there. What are you depressed about? Oh, the rotting corpses you're talking about. Well, that will be fixed. Mish, so uh, granite of sandstone. Your potatoes are being harvested. Good position.
There we go. Hmm, well, we should probably put some uh, standing lamps back in here. Now that people actually live there, might help a little bit with the uh, hospitality. so nice to see how food production is actually keeping up. More than keeping up, actually, our yield is really great. Our food storage is about to be filled. For a fact that our food storage is filled, let's uh, add one more. Oops. It means we're going to have to mine into the side here to expand our Food storage a little bit. This thing being held by the code of Lunau has managed to steal radiant coal you. There's a two turrets, one more, two mortars, and two outlanders defend air. Yeah, really. I do not have the uh, the manpower to take that on right now. Oh, poor Beedo Tox, he is struggling, struggling to keep up. Keep expanding. You can get this into a food storage area, that would be nice. More food storage. Are we out of wood? We are out of wood. Okay. And we'll have Mosquito chop some wood um, in the morning when she wakes up. Then we should be golden. 
We really don't need you right now. Visitors. How many? Two. Your bio, animals, not really. Statistics, seven now. Okay, good. Five shooting, okay. Five shooting. Yeah, both of these would actually be uh, Arifinora. We're doing with Arifinora. Neutral with them as well. So look, what are you? Some uh, labor, okay. Tough kind. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Rudy. I want that one, I want the other one. Don't really need more, uh, more rice right now. Honestly, we are pretty full on rice. So uh, let's see if we can actually. Oh, pretty, pretty sweet. If you immediately trade with him, because he has to trade nothing really, but you can take that just to give us a bit of brochure. Yeah, why not? Take the 20 you have. You feel like you get a good deal. Hmm. No time is uh, is working, but we are trying to charm him. Seems to be working. This is the guy we want, right? Animals and artistic crafting, yeah. Looks like a good chance if we manage to recruit him, that'll be when uh, when this episode ends, I believe. We'll try to uh, see if we can't keep that going. Skip here your sleep. I'm badly do need your rest. A little bit. I think Dak is about to leave, though. No, not yet. Scipio. Need to talk to him one more time. Scipio, hopefully you can do the job. Uh, talented at people. Detaining, yes, you are extremely talented. I guess up, make friends with him. So close. 
trade with her before she leaves. Let's have a look. Scat. I don't really want that. Um, got some herbal medicine. You can have that. There we go. All right. Well, that uh, recruitment failed, uh, which is probably a good idea considering how much that would uh, have made us unfriendly with the faction. However, uh, I would have liked another colonist. Now that we're up to five, it seems like we're thriving. And we're using this time to prepare for the next round of uh, fighting. We probably should set up some uh, some defenses, though. So probably a good idea to actually start doing that. Uh, security. Uh, probably should build, build some barricades here. Claim that one and deconstruct that one. So we now have like a little barricaded uh, entrance here where we can fight from. Actually, we should do that all around. Um, there we go, look at that. Yep, and some defenses are now going up around the outer perimeter of the colony. So we uh, animatory. Ooh. All right, so apparently we shouldn't build within that radius. Fine, we just have our defenses up and running. Well, that's it for this episode. It took a little while longer than uh, than what I would have uh, what I would have liked and what I would have preferred, but that's just how it is. It's um, we are well on our way here in Alturas, uh, and it, we are becoming a fully fledged colony now with uh, full sustainability. I don't know if I've crashed on a planet and would have food in my belly, work to do, and a warm, nice, comfortable, comfortable place to sleep. If I would not be a happy camper, I would probably prefer less danger, but that's about it. Tune in next time when uh, the Diné build their defenses and prepare for whatever may come next. This, uh, I'll see you in the next one.